I went into town and got my laundry done, uh, did my grocery shopping, got things ready to go so I could be taken off from here, but um, I just have a hodgepodge of some videos here and there while I was here for a couple weeks at the Oregon coast. I was in Florence, Oregon, and um, of course the sun's out today, yesterday, and the day before the storms. They were amazing, but... Uh, not much you could do in a storm but sit in your vehicle anyway uh hopefully it doesn't bore you too much god bless talk to you guys soon bye it is such a beautiful morning here at the coast yay i made it there's the ocean there's no wind the sun is out we're in october it's just gorgeous. It's 9.15 in the morning. It pays to come early. Isn't this beautiful? I'm going to sit here and do some prayers. And then take a little walk. God bless. This is where I, I know where this area is, and yeah, I spent a day with my youngest son and his family years back, um, five years ago. <clears throat> that was good memories, so I'm happy to be coming here because that gives me great memories of um, that day with him when he was talking to me. <laughs> laugh because if I don't laugh then I cry and honestly this is you know I'm gonna be 62 so my days are shorter than they are longer and um, I just want good memories I just want to go places where I had great memories and uh, recall great things that happened with my kiddos and a funny story when they were young we came here they were really, they were all in elementary school, all three of them, and uh, went to barbecue, some uh, chicken, and generally the Oregon coast is so windy, though, it hasn't been, but that day was really windy, and so we had crunchy chicken when it wasn't meant to be crunchy. It was so full of sand. <laughs> but they were really great. They were like, oh, mama, this is the best. I think it's just because we were doing something. Anyway. All right, so just going to drive down a little further. Look at that, and the fog's breaking. Isn't that beautiful? This is the Lord's doing. Oh, praise God. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Beautiful, beautiful. Anyway, God bless. Hope the wind's not too bad. It's just gorgeous here. I'm glad I decided to stay a few days longer. The fog went away. The sun came out. A little breezy, but beautiful. I pray you're having a great weekend. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. I do not regret van life whatsoever. God bless. Bye. Hello, hello, hello. So I am cutting up some zucchini. I have some eggs. I have brown eggs. And guess what? The brown eggs don't give me hiccups. Uh, 
Someone told me to try brown eggs, so I did, um, fresh from the farm. And yeah, it's great. Uh, so I have been indulging four or five times a week in a couple eggs with some zucchini, add a little bit of cheese, put it on a tortilla, and uh, call it yummy. So um, here I am. I was all ready to leave this morning. I had everything tied down. I was going to go. And then I thought, well, no, I want to stay here a couple more days at least. And let me tell you why. Number one, it's beautiful here. It's peaceful here. And I'm in no hurry. But also, if I'm not driving, I'm not using gas. And one thing about the coastline, gas is expensive here. So I'll be happy when I move inland on the 5 and uh, definitely find some more reasonable prices. Uh, that is probably until I get to California where everything's sky high. But um, my goal is before leaving uh, Oregon into California to get to Nevada, Arizona, I'm going to gas up and hopefully... Um, I won't have to spend too much in California for gas. I really would like to make it a one-day shot, California, at least into Nevada. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not a California fan, and uh, I definitely don't like the idea of going on the outskirts of these big cities. I just don't like it, but I, I'll do it, you know, but I don't like it. And if I can find an alternative route, I will. I have some uh, people I chatted with that I'm going to meet there um, once I get to Arizona. Uh, we've never met, so that'll be fun. And uh, though, you, you know, you feel like you know people uh, because you're chatting back and forth with them and uh, you know so much about their lives. And uh, so it'll be nice that uh, all of us are making it around the same time. Uh, I think myself, I'm just a little slower than most. Uh, yeah, I procrastinate. Number one, like this place is beautiful. I don't want to leave it, but I know winter's coming and this is not where I want to be. But I am going to stay a couple more days. And um, it's an overcast day, so I'll take a walk and probably shoot some video doing that. Anyway, uh yeah, life is good. Life is great. I'm not going to make it to Old Town. It is a weekend and it is packed on weekends. I should have done it the other day, but yeah, it's no big deal. Anyway, God bless. Talk to y'all soon. Bye. These seagulls are fighting over an apple. So funny. And I'm wondering if the dark ones... Are they like still babies or this year's or they're juveniles? Not sure. They were fighting. We're going to see if we see if they're going to fight. Mm, looks like they're going to share. They were like going at it fighting one of the white ones against this big dark one that one right there he's an instigator Guess they figured it was just an apple. It's not worth beating each other up over. Funny critters. Doggone, it's cold. Anyway, I keep saying a few days, a few days, a few days, a few days. I am a procrastinator. Oh, my eye still doesn't look any better. And I am... Um, I'm never in a hurry... But I'm going to finish out this week here and then I'm hitting the road. It's time to go. But um, 
Man, I just really have enjoyed it here. Even with the storms, I've enjoyed being here on the Oregon coast. I'm just so grateful um, that God just allows me to be. So, um, in case you're wondering why I keep saying, I'm going to do a few more days. I'm going to do a few more days. It's because I want to do a few more days. But, um... Now it's just really, it's just way too cold. I'm not able to get out and move as much as I'd like to. And that is not good for this girl. Um, I have uh, met several people and um, I am going to, my, oh gosh, such an amazing person, Matthias. He, um, freely I could speak, you know, about the Lord to him and, you know, I love people when you could agree to disagree without even saying you disagree, um, though we seem to have a lot of the same like-minded stuff. But it's really nice. He lives in his van, so I, I'm going to um, see tomorrow. It's supposed to be nice if he'll do an interview with me. Um, he's 71 years young and just a really nice person. I'm really, really grateful that I was able to meet him and just to speak with him. Have you ever met someone that, oh mercy, look at my hair. Have you ever met someone that you could, you just talk and talk and talk to and you feel like you have known them forever? I feel as if he is a brother. It is just really great. So uh, I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to uh, then put this all together um, so that I could just upload it and then I'll be on my merry way. I'm excited about the few other places I'm going to stop. And then I have a friend that's in Arizona saying, come on, man, it's a little windy, but it's just beautiful and nice. Sent me pictures, this beautiful blue sky, you know, so, um, but it's still too hot for me um, because my friend has uh, um, an RV with air conditioning. I have a minivan and I'm not running my air conditioning in it, you know, when I'm sitting idle. So, yeah, I, I'll have to cool down the old-fashioned way. You know, fans, roll down a window. <laughs> anyway, God love you. God bless you. And, uh, you know, pray for me as I go journeying down the road. And please pray for Israel. All right, that's it. God loves you right where you're at. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll be seeing you down the road. Bye. It's a perfect day to stay inside. But I do love a storm.